Hey Swicer, it's Nina, and as someone who's been a student for the majority of their life and has done a lot of studying of different topics, um, I volunteered this week to cover the spiritual discipline of study in our in our series this week. So um, I kind of debated and was going to start off with a why study, what, why is it so important, um, and I looked into Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, the whole, you know, think about things that are true and just and pure and praiseworthy and excellent and honorable and gracious. Um, and then I looked into the thought about, um, you know, when we study things, we they become ingrained into us. And that's how we can really, in moments of crisis, moments of stress, we can lean on the principles that are um, taught to us in the Bible. And and then I was going to go kind of a long time on that, but I thought, I don't need to convince you guys that it's important to study the Bible. And so I'm going to go into a little bit more of uh, four steps that Richard Foster has shared um, with how to have a real effective um, spiritual discipline of study. So first off, he says repetition is important. This um, helps ingrain into you, into your brain knowledge of the Bible. And so thinking of like language study, you know, they say do a little bit each day or do it consistently each day is the best way to really just make it second nature. And so it's the same with uh, spiritual discipline, studying the Bible. If you do it daily, if you do it regularly, it will be ingrained. Um, the second thing he says is concentration. He says, slow down, you know, don't, don't do the Bible in a year or don't have that be your only thing. If you're doing that power to you, <laughs> but, um, it, don't have just slow down really try to uh, focus in um, as a parent I know concentration is difficult you might notice that my videos are usually done outside then I do them outside when the kids are inside just to have a little bit of, of peace and that's where I can go sometimes to concentrate um, he says step three is comprehension so really um, taking time to comprehend uh, the meaning of the passage you're reading for the people who are writing it and how it applies to our lives. Um, and I think, so this is where I'm going to give you a little challenge this week. If you have a favorite Bible verse and you might not know the full context of that verse, I challenge you this week to go um, and make that your study this week. Look at, get a study Bible where you can look at the footnotes and they tell you, you know, what, what the significance of, of the different parts of that verse are for the people in the time it was written and then you can think about how it applies to you and then finally reflection so um foster says if we if we take that time for reflection we can really get the true significance um of what we're learning so and who doesn't want to get the true significance i i like i said you guys don't have to be convinced of that so i hope that I hope that this video helps you to deepen your your discipline of study so thinking about Repetition, concentration, comprehension, and reflection.